Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we will discuss the cost recovery method. The cost recovery method is the most conservative method in recognizing profit. Simply put, it waits until you recover your cost before you recognize any profit on any particular sale. The cost recovery method, the cost recovery method is used when you collect your cash over a period of time because you're waiting until you recover your cost. And there is no basis of estimating incollectible. Simply put, there's a high degree of incollectability. Simply put, you make a sale, you sell something, and you ask the customer to make installment sales, to make payments. But you cannot recognize any profit until you recover your cost. Maybe you don't recover your cost until the third payment, or the fifth payment, or the sixth payment. Why? Because you don't know whether you're going to collect enough to recover your cost. Because if you don't re recover your cost, you should not have any profit. Well, then guess what? Wait until you recover your cost. Now, what type of companies uses this method in the real world? There's a company called Rent-A-Center. Maybe you heard of them. You will see their, you will see their trucks maybe in, you know, in, in your town or in your city. Because of the high degree of incollectability, they are very generous in their credit policies. They basically allow anyone to rent from them. Guess what? Because you have that high ge generous credit policy, some people may not pay because they were they were they were not you were not supposed to rent them in the first place. Therefore they would use they would use this method. So no profit is booked till you recover your cost. It's even more conservative than the installment method that we work in, in another session. In the installment method, you recognize profit as you receive cash. The cost recovery method, you don't recognize any profit unless you have recovered your cost. The best way is to look at an example. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Adam Company sold 50 one-acre lots for $20,000 each on installment for a total sales of a million in the state of Montana. So they sell 50 pieces of land, each piece is an acre, and each for 20000 the cost for Adam to buy and develop the land was four hundred thousand. So simply put, Adam is making six hundred thousand dollar profit on this deal. The buyers were individuals who resides out of the state of Montana, and there there is a tend to be high degree of default on on collection, and it's difficult to estimate collection or incollectible given the current environment. So Adam sold those land on installment, but the problem is. We don't know who's going to pay. We don't know who's not going to pay. There's a high degree of incollectability. So what would Adam do under those circumstances? Well, Adam is being promised a million dollar in installment receivable or receivable is a million dollar. We debit this much. We credit land or land inventory for 400,000. Now, the difference between those is 600,000, and that's basically the profit. What we're going to do for now, we're going to debit deferred gross profit of 600,000. The deferred gross profit is a contra AR, contra receivable. So although we have a million dollar of receivable, we have a contra profit, contra receivable of 600,000. And this is basically the profit that we are going to recognize as we receive the cash. A year later, we received $250,000 in cash. We debit cash, credit installment receivable. This is year one. That's all. We, we cannot recognize any profit because the cash that we received have not recovered the cost of our the land. In year two, we received cash of 450000 Well, this is year two. We debit cash, credit installment receivable. Now, in year, in year one, we received two fifty. In year two, we received four fifty. So far, we have received $700,000 in cash. What does that mean? It means we recovered our cost by year two, 
in part of that 700,000, 300 is now we can recognize as profit. So what we do then in year two, we debit deferred gross profit. We're starting to reduce the deferred gross profit by 300,000 and we credit realized profit for 300,000. So we did not book any profit until we got to year two because by year two, we recovered our cost. In year three, we received cash of 300,000 debit account receivable, credit installment receivable. Now going forward, any cash that we receive, which is this is the remaining is profit. So this is year three. Therefore, also in year three, we book another $300,000 in profit. Therefore, 300,000, 300,000 in total, we booked $600,000 in profit on the income statement and the deferred gross profit is gone. And voila, we recognize he was lucky to collect all the money and recognize all the profit by year three. So this is how the cost method work. You wait until you recover your cost. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and learn about the cost recovery work MCQs, true, false. That's going to help you understand revenue recognition better. Good luck. Study hard. And of course, stay safe.